I'm willing to do a lot of things in my life, and I have done a lot of things. But I saw some kayaks sitting up at the top of this ramp. Now let me show you the put-in. You can't tell me this doesn't look like alligators are just waiting for you. Won't catch me here. Nope. Nope. The said kayaks. But there is a little section over here that I can get behind. Look at this nifty little workout section. Shall we get our fitness on? We got an elliptical, little hand pedal bike thing, feet pedal bike thing. I'm curious if people actually use this stuff. This is really nice, like the floor. It's pretty squishy. We also have a pull-up bar. We're gonna see if I can do some weighted pull-ups. take it. I got like 25 pounds in my pack right now. I've never done weighted pull-ups. That was fun. Up. Yes. Good. Zora. Over here. Yes. Good girl. Zora and I are currently in Naples, Florida. Last time you saw us, we were covered in dirt leaving Bear Island Campground. And I am happy to report that we are still covered in dirt. I knew I was gonna be outside for most of today and it is 90 degrees. So I figured, why am I gonna shower in the morning if I'm just gonna walk outside and get sweaty again? So here we are wearing a hat. But the first stop that we will make is going to be the car wash. The second stop is going to be the gym to get a shower. <laughs> worth of quarters this morning at the laundromat. So we are set. Delicious. Not too bad. There you go, you can kind of see the dirt on this vehicle. And for the grand finale, we have engaged ghost mode on this car. All right, let's get it clean. You know what? We'll take it. Looks much better. Well, that was easy. One thing done. And I know I said that I was going to shower next, but food is going to take priority because I have a bit of a headache and I think it's because I'm hungry. And it's almost six o'clock, which means it's nearly time for Zora to eat as well. So we're gonna go ahead and knock out food next and then we'll think about a shower. 
little while back, I did a video where I tried Wawa, which is a convenience store slash gas station down here in Florida and all along the East Coast, if you're not familiar with what it is. And I had a very good experience. So I really like to try Publix's sandwiches because I hear that they are quite good. It also seems quite appropriate given the fact that I'm going to utilize their parking lot for some sleeping tonight. Maybe they won't get mad at me if I show them a Publix bag. They're like, no, I bought food. This is my camping fee for the evening. Publix. If I've learned one thing about Floridians is that they are very passionate about Publix. And I have been here a while now and I have yet to step foot in a Publix on this trip. I don't know if that's an accomplishment or if I should be ashamed of myself. that clean car. She is beautiful. Just glowing. And my disastrous interior. We're going down here to the not busy part of this store so we can eat in peace and quiet. Before I can eat, there is something that has to be done. The moose comes first. She has been snoozing away for the past 45 minutes while I've been running around trying to get the car washed and the food. You always end up getting this very wet whenever you eat. So we're going to fold that back since it's all nice and pretty right now. Wait. break. <laughs> Immediately goes for the two treats. Enjoy! All done? Clean as a whistle. Let's fix your bed. Thank you. It's my turn. I have the jerk turkey and it has chipotle, gouda cheese, honey mustard, and bacon on it. Let's give it a try. I also had them warm it up and put lettuce and tomato on here. Ooh, that cheese. <laughs> it's a bit spicy. <laughs> this puts Subway to shame. But that is some spicy cheese. It's good, but it has a little zip to it. It gets a thumbs up from me. This is an absolute win, and I will be going back to Publix for sandwiches. They also had a section of grilled chicken tenders, and it looks like half a rotisserie chicken, some mac and cheese, just other sides. And that looked like it had been sitting on the induction plate for a little while, so I would maybe steer away from that and go with something that they make right in front of you, because this is really good. Sandwich is gone, which means it's time to dig into this key lime pie. I just realized something when I said that out loud. I was thinking I was getting key lime pie. I got key lime cheesecake. Which honestly, in my mind, is better. I like cheesecake better than pie anyways. But I just realized that. Apparently the brain is not functioning. Zora got the brain cell today.
I am a sweets person. I am absolutely a sweets person. The sub was good, but can I just eat this for dinner instead? I told myself I was just going to have a couple bites. I'm going to eat the entire slice. There you go. Maybe? That ranks pretty, pretty high up there on Florida meals. Crazy parking lot driving. That uh, was a very long journey we just made. Publix, Planet Fitness. Last activity of the evening. Shower time. Please tell me they aren't closed. I got a bad feeling about this. They closed at seven. I feel so gross. <laughs> oh. Crisis averted. <laughs> There's another plan of fitness in the area at 7.30 and I am exhausted. So is she. She's been asleep for the past hour. After she eats, don't expect anything from her because she will not be doing anything except sleeping. Get elevator music up in the brain. At 4955 Golden Gate Parkway. We made it! Clean and happy. Ready for bed. the drill. Towel has to come out. You're doing a snooze? Go potty. Moose. And this area is not where I want to be. I am back in the land of gated neighborhoods, so I am much more comfortable staying over here. I am going to hopefully be at this Turn left into the parking. Turns out there are actually cars that are scattered all throughout this parking lot. And I haven't seen a single no overnight parking sign. So I just kind of put myself over here because I like the way the parking lot is sloped a little bit. It's going to help me sleep because it's pointing my head the correct direction, meaning not downhill. I don't really care about the light too much because I'm used to sleeping in super brightly lit parking lots, but I think we'll have a good night here. I also get evening entertainment. That thing looks fun. Nine thirty. We will see you guys in the morning. Oh, thank you. I see you. I see you far. Hello. It's eleven thirty, and I usually wake up about this time. Which is good, because it gives me a chance to make sure that my windows are not fogging up and giving me away that I'm still camping. I'd say it's looking pretty good, so I'm gonna go back to bed.
lift and cardio done for the day. It's 5.30. Now I'm gonna go wake up the gator and feed her. Best part of the day right here. Good morning, Moose. Oh, big stretch. Doing a super speed this morning. Here we go. Break. Good girl. Well, that about does it. Another restful night here in Florida. And my very first night at a Publix. I can camp in a lot of places that other car campers and van lifers cannot camp because of my schedule. I leave about the time they start kicking people out of places. And I also have a rig that is fairly stealthy. Other than the backside window covers and the rear, which is solid enough that you can't really tell there's a window cover in there, that's really the only giveaway and maybe this fridge sitting in my passenger seat. But you know, I tell myself I'm stealthy enough. As long as I don't get close to the car, I'm good. I'm gonna enjoy some breakfast. You're gonna enjoy your day or your evening, whatever it is. And we will see you in the next vlog. We're heading to Key West, baby. Maybe Miami first, then Key West. We'll see.